Welcome back. Um, let's, let's load this up first. And uh, hold on. In the last one, we went to the desert, uh, helped uh, some monkeys get some stuff. We got some stuff as well. Oh, wait a minute. Everything is scuffed right now. Um, but yeah, we, we basically did this weird little thing. But, and now we could teleport, because a monkey showed us how to, so... Um, I teleported to Tucson, but I didn't need to, that was a mistake. I realized that as soon as I ended the, the, the episode. But, there is somewhere that we can teleport to. Oh wait, I gotta make sure that it's straight. That you can't get to is, uh, Winter. Winters. So that's where we'll go. Hey, monkey. I saw you once before, just for a second. You know my fiance. My fiance loves to chew gum. Yeah, Bubble Monkey. He went to visit Dr. Andonet's lab, but he hasn't returned yet. I want to go there so I could get him home, but without him, I can't cross Lake Tess. I'm really worried that the mad doctor will use him in a crash test. I guess he was the one who controlled Tessie, wasn't he? So Yeah, there's nothing we could really do about that, can we? Because... Yeah, we need him in order to get the Loch Ness Monster. Alright, yeah, we'll get this. Yeah, there's some items in here that we can upgrade for. Um... That is a lot of money. Coin of silence. Right, let's get. Yeah, we're gonna get um fuck, fuck this. Give me four. Do you want? And then we're gonna save, and then we're gonna buy that stuff. I wonder what this person says right here. Sorry, the bubble gum is sold out. Oh yeah, okay. So we need this. That will be for Paula. I kind of want to get a coin of silence too. Uh, I don't know if that's worth it. Let's look at it. Before we uh, buy another one. Wait, what? Point of silence. Must be equipped as other. Increase your defense and luck. Hmm. Yeah, no, I'm not... I don't like that at all. Because the other one had an actual, like, it, it protected from, like, fire or darkness. I'd rather just keep what I got, even if it's lacking in a couple stats. But we still need that frying pan, so... Oops, nope, we don't need anything else. We do have quite a bit of money though, but there's no point in just blowing it like that. There will be better items. I assume in the future. Much better items. Um, let's talk to the mom real quick. Seems like you're having some tough times. Your teacher dropped by looking for you. Don't worry, I covered for you. Everything is fine. Keep trucking. Keep on trucking. Alright, 
let's see if we can get back or teleport we need to go back to foresight I think sweet I wonder what like the the farthest I could go or how the distance I have to be in order to to teleport I think I need to go to the Montali building. There's a blue person down there. To Paula. Yeah, I don't like the layout of this place. Oh no, and the fucking taxis. <laughs> I just don't like this aerial view, I think that's the main thing about it. Where is it? Hospital. It's gotta be here somewhere. Down here? Keep asking around for trout flavored yogurt. Hey! But what? You have a yogurt dispenser? Yeah. May I have it? Before you can answer, she took the yogurt dispenser. Now I can make trout flavored yogurt for my guests. You are so kind. I'll make some for you. My room is on the 40th floor. Don't forget to drop by. What the fuck? Okay, she said it twice. So she took our dispenser machine. Our yogurt dispenser. Wait. She said 48th floor though, not the 47th. Hmm. Can we get there now, for once? Shh, quiet. Are you Miruk? Mr. Montali's maid, Electra. Oh, she's the maid of Montali. Told me about you. I'll take you to Mr. Montali's office on the 48th floor. Only you may go up. Wow. She's gonna get fired for this. Alright, thank you. Where's she at? Oh, what the fuck? Secret code, please. Say your code in 10 seconds. Um, um, oh fuck. I guess there was no code. Was there a code? <laughs> I just started pressing buttons on my keyboard. Let's see, what do I have? Oh wait, I should be- Oh shit. I should have given the, um, neutralizer. Oh, well, I guess I don't have to worry about that. I still gotta give the neutralizer, though. To Jeff. Wait, what the hell? This place is a maze. Wait, what's this, then? Okay, now that leads... Hmm. Okay, so that door leads back to the same door. Oh no, that door leads to that door. Okay. Whoa, someone's groaning in there. And in there, too. <clears throat> Alright, let's try this. Let's just push a bunch of buttons. Okay, no, we didn't get nothing. Bottle rocket. That was pretty high damage, honestly. Shit. Wait, is there gonna be. No, okay. Let's go in this one. Wait, what the fuck? Is this the same room? It is. 
he's not gonna let me get by. Is there really a secret code? Feels like classrooms. Oh. Let's go up here first. Shit. Is there really a code? Why do they all say the same thing? TikTok. Open the present. Guts pill. Okay. Probably not gonna use that. Damn it. I keep pressing buttons thinking it's gonna fix the code or solve the code. <laughs> Feels like there has to be a code though, because why would he just be uh, saying that every single time? Another gift? Vital capsule? At least there's not too many robots. Hmm. Huh. That's the maid. Wait, let's see what's in this door first. Oh shit, what is that? <laughs> Fuck, I guess we'll talk to her real quick. <laughs> see what she has to say. Your trout flavored yogurt, sir. Oh, thank you. Me got the trout yogurt. Po Master Pokey's cool. He gave me something the other day and said, This is fit for a maid. Trout yogurt. Sounds disgusting. A fashionable treat for snobby, hot cuisine people in some big cities. When you eat it, it recovers 30 HP. So it's just a it's just a joke item again. Another another one. <laughs> Double your guts during battle, however after battle, yeah yeah. We're gonna sell that. Maybe we'll sell the trout yogurt too. Increase your vitality when taken. That's that that one is useful. Not sure who to give it to yet though. I kinda feel like I should save all my pills. Ping clankity clankity rattle rattle dwar squeak tweet tweet clank for uh Paula just because her uh she takes damage so easily. Whenever we could see her again. Lost some gears and bolts. Dodged. Oh shit, oh shit. We gotta heal Jeff, we gotta heal Jeff. Come on, come on, come on. Oh shit, I did it. Um, Bash. And Peanut Butter Bar. What? Oh wait, I'm healed. Let's shoot off our big bottle rocket. What? I fucking missed? Or it just didn't work? Who is this guy? Um, let's try this. Let's try this as well. What? Okay, I guess we'll just do that then. What did he say? He wanted to get a, go get a battery? This fucker's pretty strong. Oh, 
All of a sudden, some guys rushed into the room. What? The Runaway Five? <laughs> Lucky quickly ducked behind the robot. I flipped the switch and it stopped. Ha ha ha. Jeez, what a loser robot. It was easy to stop. That was quick thinking. So the Runaway... The Runaway Five saved the day. Where have they been? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> you can tell it's them just from the music. Alright, I guess that was a serious enemy. Hey, what's going on, guys? We would like to play you back. We'll help you- or oh, pay you back. We'll help you in whatever way you can. Well, thank God. You guys dipped out on me last time I paid for your million dollar bail. We don't have any money. We are strong, however. Is this our, ne our new team? Let's break into the room next door. <laughs> Sep, I need to go to the bathroom first. I thought that I heard a girl's voice. The door next door seems suspicious somehow. Okay, so let's go. Oh shit, it's Paula! Stop, that's enough. Please stop. I give up. I really do. Alright, well give us Paula. You old fuck, what's going on? This bear won't attack you, he's stuffed. Is that Montali? Meter, you finally made it here. I'm fine. I believed you'd come and save me. Mr. Montali isn't really a bad person. Take some time to listen to him. Okay, looks like there's a little secret over there, you see that? Look at my skinny arms, thin body, and gray hair. I've become so weak since I lost the Mani Mani statue. Well, we broke that. I'm sorry I kidnapped Paula. I haven't done anything to her. Paula is a nice girl. Paula. Return to Miruk. <laughs> I'm sorry I've created so much trouble for you. What the fuck? What is going on? I mean, thank God, but what? I'll tell you everything. The Mani Mani statue creates an illusion. It attracts evil spirits and weakens your heart. The power scared me so much. I hid the statue in the warehouse at Jackie's Cafe. I often went there to pray. Cryptic words appeared to me while I was in the illusion. Miruk, your name appeared in the cryptic messages. Stop, Miruk, and do so by your own hand. Or, don't let them go to Summers. Or, make sure they know nothing of the pyramid. I don't fully understand the messages, but somehow obviously doesn't want someone obviously doesn't want you to go to summers evil gigas or something i could hear the name anyway the evil side would be in trouble if you visit summers oh on the contrary you should definitely go to summers especially because they don't want you to make it there would you like to hear the whole story again no i'm good summers is located across the ocean take my helicopter i'll open the door to my heliport Oh, is that what that is? Is that, is that for his helicopter? Wait, the Runaway Five are back there, though. We should say goodbye or something. He's literally forcing us to do this. <laughs> you must go on. Miruk, this is your destiny. Paula, it's time we said goodbye. Take care. What were you doing with Paula for so long? Like, we're all just chilling? Like, what? Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Damn, it was so long since we've seen Paula. At least, at least, uh... We got our party back. What the fuck's going on now? This, who the fuck's in the... Oh, you bitch. Miracle, you pinheaded idiot. You're just a half step too slow. I'm getting out of here. Since Montali has become a plain old man again, I have no more use for him. This helicopter will really come in handy. Looks like you're the world class loser again. Okay. Alright. Well, now what? Is that it, really? 
<laughs> He's just gonna fucking steal the helicopter. Okay. Let's see what uh, Montali thinks about this. Your boy just stole the helicopter. Pokey took the helicopter. I hope he's okay. What the fuck? You said you wanted to make up, make it up to us. Just, I don't know, give us something else then. Got any money? Wait, what? Look at Ness. He's like, what the fuck? I was a little dizzy, but now I'm okay. To get to Summers, we need to go back to Threed. Yep, somehow I know that's where we must go. Alright, the boys are back. Wow, you guys did a lot while I was in the bathroom, ha ha ha. We want to get to Threed as soon as possible. We can take you to Threed in our tour bus. I'll get the bus and wait for you just outside the building. Alright, let's go. Who needs the helicopter? I'm surprised that they're still broke though. I mean, we paid off their uh, fines. I'm surprised they didn't get any money from that last show. Or they probably spent it all. Huh, who is it? Hello, how are you? This is Apple Kid. I think I'm a real genius, in fact. I know I'm a genius, why? Well, I have discovered the primary enemy of you and all humanity. We have to fight and defeat this being. To do so, we need to invent a machine called the phase distorter. I've got to find the wandering scientist, Dr. Andenitz. Oh, that's the dude from uh, Jeff's uh, winter place. And make the distorter so I may be gone for a while. Later. I mean, we know where he's at. Are you a friend of the Runaway 5? Would an autograph be asking for too much? No, they're losers. I don't mean your autograph, silly. What? Yeah, they'll give you an autograph, probably. Damn, everything's changed in the music. When I'm off duty from my bodyguard job, I still have a lot of pent-up energy. But don't worry, I won't come after you. Unless you're kind of itching for a fight. A lot has happened to me. I have to try and sort it all out. Thinking is tough for me. Alright, man. This elevator is going down. Look, don't stand behind me and stare at my hips. Why should we say that? Again? Hello, this is Orange Kid. <laughs> Sorry I haven't called lately. I'm still working on the way to change boiled eggs into raw eggs. It's taking longer than I thought. I'm going... <laughs> what the fuck? I'm going to really work at it though. Talk to me later. Who gives a fuck, Orange Kid? <laughs> I hope my salary stays the same. Oh no. I think we already said that. Alright, let's go. Okay, you can get on the bus now. Yeah, let's go. Alright, on to Threed. I honestly didn't think I'd see these guys again. I wonder if there's gonna be more uh, times we see them. I mean, we don't even really need them to uh, take us to three. The fact that uh, they feel like they need to do this for us, I mean, we'd get there faster teleporting, you know? This is kind of odd if you think about it. I think it, it'd make more sense if they kind of just like joined us in a fight or something, I guess. Or give us some sort of cool item that's like very useful. Yeah, we would have been there in 
twice as fast as this, or three times as fast. It takes like five seconds to teleport. I wonder what would happen if I just teleported and didn't, um, talk to them. Would they be there forever? <laughs> Stuck in foresight waiting for me? Alright, we made it. I'm sorry we couldn't do more for you. Remember, though, we're on your side. When you're having a tough time, just think of our songs and imagine the Runaway 5 singing somewhere far, far away. By the way, why did you need to come back here? You must have forgotten some very important item or gadget here. How's that a guess? Am I close? Well, you don't have to tell me. See you later and good luck. I have a feeling I'll see them again. Actually, I want to see something. I want to teleport. Oops. And see where it takes us in three. Superior. Look at that. It's even better. Instead of taking us all the way down there, it takes us straight to the hotel. Because that's where I wanted to go. <laughs> totally didn't even need to have that part. Talk to the mom. Talk to the dad. And then we need to go to the next town, right? And it's somewhere here. Somehow we're going to get there from here. Oh wait, we have uh, something for Paula. We have a pan. Um, fuck. Also, I just realized you have to give the person the item, have it in their inventory. Oh shit, she's stacked. Uh, just in order for them to equip it, which is... It's really annoying, you know? Because I always thought that, oh, this person just can't equip this thing. Oh, what is it? Deluxe. Just because it, it, wouldn't, let the, it, let, it wouldn't let you when you tried to uh, equip items. But it's because it's not in their inventory. And it, I don't know. I believe that for quite a while. I think it's the non-stick that's the good one. I guess just to make s just to be safe. Cuz I have to compare them before I sell the other one. Yeah, okay, it is better. So now we need to get to the next town from here. They really made it a big deal for us to go here. But where would the t next town be? Three town. Oh, I bet it's down in the, um, at the, uh, graveyard. I guess I could just look it up as well. I don't really need to go explore around in this whole place. And I probably also need to get rid of some stuff and organize everything. Yeah. Just so we don't just go places for no reason. I'll just end it here and I'll look it up and come to that conclusion in the next part. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you the next one. Bye.